Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron if you're new welcome if you're a returning member welcome back and if you're a new member could you please share like and smash that subscribe button it definitely helps um, my channel grow and it helps notify members when I'm posting videos and for all you uh, recently new members thank you for coming along my journey and uh, yeah so today we uh, at the end of week 161, I believe, so we're in one, week 162. Had a successful weight loss week. We kind of stayed the same, and uh, anytime you can stay the same without not gaining weight, I would say that would be a successful weight loss journey. We had a lot of uh, things going on, as you know, uh, with the flood and losing our car and all the winter belongings and everything like that. Had a very uh, overwhelming uh, week with my wife being in the uh, hospital for four days. And, yeah, and then of course dealing with the cat and uh, wondering if we're going to have to move and just get out of here in a hurry and all that stuff there and did some local events that just happened this past week and ay ay ay. So anyways, uh, so thank you for coming along my journey. We did our first live cooking video the other day. It, it went kind of well, but I learned a lot from the cooking experience live that not to move the camera around so much and you know, and I was just excited to, you know, do my first live. I didn't know how it was going to go, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing lives at least uh, once a week. My biggest question to you and my audience is, um, what kind of day would you like me to do it on? Uh, pick a day and uh, see if it, it'll work for me, and uh, what time? Do you want it like early in the morning or afternoon or like early evening? Because I could do something early evening and just, you know, and, and put that meal aside for the day, for the day afterwards or something like that. So these are some things I'm thinking about, you know, and I need to get better on the camera angles. And like, again, well, you know, don't mind the mess because this is live, this is real. And it, uh, yeah. And then we had the Johnny Appleseed Festival uh, Saturday. I went down there with my wife early in the morning and walked down. And my friend Dominic walked back to the house because she was cold and I was cold. It was raw, it was raining out, it was damp most of the day. Then when the rain started pouring out, I just left. I couldn't deal with it no longer. I took some photographs. I'll have a bubble yeah, behind me on the green screen here, but it, it, you know, it's more or less unusual for me. And uh, I definitely need to send out for that other DJI mobile that I used to have there. So when I sat going out lives when I'm downtown and doing some walking, you know, I could do lives with you on my YouTube channel just just to give you an overall idea, of, you know, what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah, so it, uh, I had one uh, cheat day yesterday at the Johnny Appleseed Festival. I had a apple crisp, a photo about the timeline. Again, don't judge, not keto, but I did walk four miles that day. So I felt pretty good burning it off my calories. And then, um, uh, yeah, so but, uh, hopefully by my next video live, I'll have a car. We're going shopping Monday. Uh, the check for the insurance company uh, cleared out. Well, most of it did, and I'm waiting for the balance of it to clear out later in the week so I can pay off the other two credit cards I have, and then I'll be debt-free. So when I go in there and get a, a loan or a lease car, I, I, I want to go in there debt-free and just have the monthly payment, and that's it, my cable and my electric. And, uh, of course, you know, the prices of food right now are really outrageous, and so you, get, you get what you can afford, and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to be getting a new chair, a new office chair. This one's pretty much had it. I've had this for five years. I uh, I want to get a new comforter set for my bed, and um, and I'm going to get four brand new pillows and sheets and pillowcases and new curtains for my uh, back room. And I wish I could just paint the walls and stuff like that, but we're not allowed to paint here or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so I, I miss out. All this time, like, I, I always felt uncomfortable doing lives, and I was kind of having fun doing a live video. I didn't know if I could talk that much over the live. But, you know, my wife lives here with me, obviously, and so does my cat. So, you know, he might get on my feet every now and then, and I might have to, push, you know, shush him away. And, you know, don't mind my wife coming in and out of the uh, room, and she has a bit too, and she come in, she'll come in the kitchen and get something to eat or something to drink. And, you know, I'll leave the TV on, off in the, in the main living room and, and uh you know, in my living rooms, the house is that, that this is normal how we live. You know, I, I, we do the best we can to keep it clean for us. So we're okay with that. So again, don't judge what you see. You know, it is what it is. Uh, rent is really, really low considering what everybody else is paying because we are on affordable housing. And uh, as much as you hear me in other videos, bitch about this place, you know, I, you know, I got no choice to stay here. If my rent jumps up to the to what everybody else is paying, then I'll 
then I'll make a decision at that point you move out of here but um you know as of uh this coming week my bills will be 100 percent paid I'll have a zero balance on everything including all the credit cards and yeah well we only have well three if you count lens crafters and well uh, four with it <laughs> cold cold is, I don't know but anyways they're all they're all paid off down to zero and uh so I'm not sure in the uh, what I want is a lease car. Let me know and show more. What, what, what do you suggest that you'll buy a car or lease a car? Now, here's the thing about leasing a car. Everybody tells me if you lease a car, you're never going to own it. I get it. But if I buy a new car, you know, I'm, I'm going to have payments anyways for five to six to seven years, depending on how far I want to go with payments. And, uh, and then, of course, a lease car again. If I want to buy it after the third year, I could just go to the bank and say, "Hey, I've been making this this amount of payments on it for this long. Can I can I buy it outright from the uh, dealership and you know continue on my payments to the bank?" And I'm sure they wouldn't have a problem with that, you know. And and then of course, if I didn't want to go that route, I could just go ahead and you know trade it in and get a new car. So so there's a lot of options for leasing and there's a lot of options for buying. But that's what I'm up against now. As far as leasing goes, you know you don't, you know you put so many miles on it a year and you know, the, the goal is to stay under those mileage. I don't, I don't go that far anyways. Even if I go to school up in Gardner over there, which is a couple of towns over, you know, the, the mileage is still going to be low enough to where I'm not going to have to worry about it. So, you know, those are some of the stipulations. And, of course, I, I mentioned that I want to get a car with a camera and I want to get a, uh, I guess a car with a remote starter. Now, uh, some people have suggested just go around locally and look for something used. But here's what the deal with used. Used is used, and I don't know what their problems were. Why? Why did they sell it? You know, and and you know, it's you know, you might get a car that's a lemon, and you might get a car that's a good car for a used car without a bill. I get that part of it, but at the end of the day, you do what you feel right for for you. And I need a very reliable car for the winter time. I can't be going out moving my car in the winter time when I got to move it for snow removal, and my car's not going to start. You know, and I've had that issue before, and uh, I don't want to deal with that. And uh, then, do I want an electric car, a hydrogen car, or a regular gas car? And I'm going to get a regular gas car because I got no place to charge it up, and I'm not going to worry about a hydrogen car and go down there to a pump and pump it up, and then. And then spending thirty, forty thousand dollars for a vehicle, and I'm trying to keep it under twenty thousand for a car. I've seen some uh, the car inventories are getting low at the car dealerships, so they pretty much can set their own prices right now without going too crazy. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got. That's what I got to look forward to. And I and I got a choice. Well, what I want an SUV? Do I want a car? Do I want a truck? You know, these are some things I'm all considering right now. I got options, and if they don't want to work with me, I'll just go somewhere else until I can find somebody. It is what it is. But uh, I'm having a good week, and uh, but planning on doing more lives, and uh, when I get my DJI Kimball again, I'll have a nice side uh, of that, and I'm going to send up for a computer this month, because I'm going to be returning back to school at the end of October. Um, I wanted to talk about that, too. I posted it up on social media, Facebook, about, you know, leaving school temporarily, and I just started. I, I, I did two classes. I had no choice. I had no car. Um, my wife's got a lot of doctor's appointments that I got to contend with, and somebody had a problem with that. I said, what the fuck? I said, you, you do what, oh, you guys don't have much going on. You don't know what goes on in my life. My, I got appointments every other Monday with my wife for, for uh, shots. She has to get at the hospital. I spent four hours a day over there with her waiting for that. And then, and then she's got appointments and I got appointments. And now there's another issue we found out this week. She's got cataracts in her right eye. Yeah, no big deal for most people. But when you're 72 and she waited a little bit longer, she might be losing her right eye. So don't tell me we got nothing going on here that, you know, people that's so, so uh, judgmental on your videos and your photographs, they get to a point they don't want to post anything anymore because people are a bunch of uh, asses, you know. So, you know, I'm sorry for the profanity, but that's how I feel this morning with that, you know. I'm a happy-go-lucky guy most of the time. I've had a very emotional uh, lot, two or three weeks over here. I didn't want to have to deal with the school issue because of the fact that I was that much, I was that much involved with the emotions of everything that was going on. I felt that I couldn't concentrate on the homework so you know we're not giving up school we're going to get my degree we might even get a master's degree bottom line is i had to do what was right for me so i hope everybody can agree with me with that assessment um my cat update he's fine he need to get his nails done again uh you know but it, again he was scheduled for one of those this past week and i didn't have a car so we're gonna bring uh next week sometime hopefully to get his nails uh trimmed down uh, 
my sis has been giving me rides all over the place and people have been offering me rides, but I don't want to oppose on anybody. I did oppose on one person. I needed, I had a double appointment that day when my wife had an appointment for her eyes. I thought that appointment was going to last a half an hour. We were there almost two hours. And thank, thank you for my sister. You know, she watches my videos for, for helping me out. She brought me to, my, my wife and I to Bingo Friday night and I got a ride home from my, from my, my friend uh, Jackie, her friend. All that was going to bring me home, but you know, I, you know, Again, I'm sitting in the back seat. I don't feel comfortable sitting in the back seat. I don't like being a back seat driver. It's rough. It was rough for me getting in the back seat in cars, and you know, and and, and again, I got to get a car that I, I feel comfortable with driving. I, you know, I'm thinking about that SUV would be really, really nice, and uh, you know, just you know, just deal with the payments. Uh, yeah, it sucked. I had all my car paid. I had it almost all paid off. I would have had that paid off by mid mid March or April. But, uh, you know, I could have just taken two checks and just paid it off that way. But it is what it is. You know, and I can even do the same thing on a new car. If I know, you know, if I, if I find myself in a good surplus of cash every month, you know, depending on how, you know, watching my money, I, I could pay $1,000 on the car and have the car paid off in, 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 in probably a year's time, you know. So these are some things I'm thinking about. And most, if I don't go back to school, I'm going to go back to work and do something. But I... Uh, I want to get a DJI gimbal again, and this is going to be the latest one they had. This is a 6.0 model. They're $150 on Amazon, by the way. And what I like about that is you can take really, really smooth video with your mobile camera, or your, or your if you got a, a, cam, a, a regular camera. And uh, as I'm walking, you know, to do the video for you guys, I narrate over the video using a road video microphone, so to cut out all the distortion noise and. Uh, we got a couple of more events coming up in our city, like we got the cannoli festival coming up. I don't do cannolis because they're too sweet for me, and I don't care for them. But I might buy one to just show you, you know, you know, you, you know, just do a video on, you know, what it looks like. And they typically, the man did this at the event a few years ago as a gag, and it's it's blossomed. A lot of people like it, so they have that in the fall. And typically, what they they they'll do is um, they'll. Uh, People, you know, over, you know, maybe two or three thousand people show up for this event. That's a four or five hour event. The first year they ran out of cannolis by about nine o'clock. So, but they didn't know how it was going to come out. So, so they got a lot of food truck vendors and local establishments that'll come over and make cannolis, and and, you, and they have pop up tents where where uh, you know you can buy stuff. And it's a it's a fun event, and they have a lot of great music. You know, it's just I'm just good again background music. So I'll probably have to turn the volume down when they play that music with the copyright so I don't get uh, flagged. And uh, yeah, and then we got the tractor parade coming up, and then we're gonna have the Halloween parade. So I'm gonna do live videos for both of those with the DJI Mobile and the, the, the Halloween parade is cool because they 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 line up at uh, at Walgreens at the bottom at the bottom of Central Street in our city, and then they come up this way. And then I usually film the the uh, costumes and just do live vid live videos and stuff like that. This, I, I, I want to actually walk with the parade to do all that stuff. And yeah, so th these are some events I'm looking forward to. And of course, the tractor parade is really really great. You know, they they use our tractors and the DPW get do that. And then we got the again we got the uh, Christmas concert special. We got the uh, Colonial Band coming up in December, and we have the um, one inches corral that I film. And uh, of course, yes, Saturday we saw the uh, LTV truck, the local access station truck, the uh, that was uh, filming. They had the uh, couple of huge cameras set up on top of the uh, kick truck, and and they had it all wrapped up in a plastic bag because of the rain and stuff like that. And they had about four or five working for the uh, studio over there doing the uh, video that day. He hasn't been asking me to do any video. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable with me and on. I don't know what his problem is, but I'm still involved with the studio. And, and well, at least for now, you know, we got to talk to uh, the Colonial Band about that, and um, for next year going forward, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sending. I have a video, a small little video camera that I showed you from time to time that I use when I'm filming, and uh, this is being filmed on my Android. But uh, there's a twenty five hundred dollar camera outfit that I want to get for filming. This is a professional camera, and it uh, films out in four K, and you know, again get all the accessories and everything I need. It's about twenty five hundred dollars start up and I'm definitely gonna get that next year and I'll be I'll be all set and I don't have my other camera and I'll always have my mobile camera for a third camera and I got my uh Canon and fifty for a fifth camera if I need it and uh I'll be you know I'll be picking up a couple of cameras from time to time as I get money for this stuff. 
and we might even start looking on eBay, see if I can find something used that's not too danged up, you know. But uh, definitely that's the way I'm going to go because I'm going to be opening up a studio sometime soon here and start offering film and uh, photography for local people that might want it or it's, or and anybody that might have video you want me to edit and send, send me uh, in the Dropbox and I'll edit for you and help you out. But anyways, I just like to help people out and be, you know, I'm, I'm so... Um, spiritually guided with my divine energy field god and you know jesus is always walking alongside of me along with my guardian angels and i truly believe that and i've been so happy and of course we had that problem happen and it did uh, you know i did apply for the fema website um we haven't done heard anything back yet but that might take a while it's just in the process of still probably money to the city for helping the five victims out and that money is just for the damage stuff that we lost. We lost everything downstairs in the basement. None of it's recoverable. And so did 40 other people. And then, of course, they got the money for the car. And that came in okay. And that was a total loss. And they gave me full value for the car and then some. And so, yeah, and then we had 40, 42 units over here that were affected. And 42 people lost their cars. Some people lost two cars. And, you know, if you don't have compulsive insurance on them, you're not going to get paid for them. So they're going to have to try to get their money back through FEMA. And, uh, you know, all they can do is say no. So, right, right. So it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, they, the city of Lemus just sat in the Indianapolis Seed Festival. Uh, they they, they uh, received uh, quite a bit of funding from the uh, local people that were very, very generous in that situation. We were able to donate money to that uh, relief fund that he has set up in the office. Lemus.gov, if you're not... Uh, in that situation where you can donate cash, just go on to lemister.gov or the Lemister Community Development page and the, uh, uh, le that, that would be the Facebook page and they, they got links there where you can just donate funds that way and that helps out the victims of Lemister. And, uh, you know, thank goodness nobody lost their life. Again, pets and, uh, you know, the, uh, the news agencies were down here all day Saturday and Friday and Thursday. Uh, a local hospital where the uh, the maternity ward is closing after having uh, births in the city of Lemus during my entire life and so now people are going to have to go down to Worcester to have their babies and you know the, the bottom line is the reason why they close is because they don't want to pay anything anymore you know because they're like they're not making enough freaking money and if it's just off your insurance they're, they're greedy mongrel bastards and uh, that's just the way I feel they closed down a facility that they didn't have to shut down because they don't want to pay for it no more that's the, that's the bottom line it always it always is and always will come down to money. And uh, yeah, and then again, with the money situation right now, with the cost of living, and, uh, Donna and I, get, you know, if I can afford organic meats, I'll get it. And if I can't, I don't. So remember at the end of the day, get what you can afford and don't worry about what other people think because uh, you have to survive right now. And things are gonna get really, really crazy pretty soon. So just be aware of that and, and make sure you got at least about a month's supply of uh, food put away. And uh, you know, non-perishables and stuff like that. And uh, again, with the toilet paper and all that, make sure you got all that put away and uh, try to have a little, uh, oh, Don and I have some loose cash in the house, but <sighs> what I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna get maybe about $100 in tens, $100 in fives and $100 in ones and have some loose cash that way. So in case something does happen with the internet and we can't access the money through, you know, buying stuff, at least we'll have that. And then we can just pay cash and, and just deal with it that way. And uh, you know, but uh, it, it could it could could come to that, so just be aware of that. And uh, anyways, I don't know. I don't want to start talking more about that. But I mean, I'm just happy of being Ron. I'm doing some live videos. Don't forget to be watching for those. Again, thank you for coming along my journey. Uh, have an amazing week. Be watching for some more lives and uh, go Patriots. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna win their first game this year, but you know who knows. But uh, you know, at least we got something we can watch other than the fake news. But uh, yeah, it's the way I'm looking at it right now, guys. But anyways, uh, if you know what I, if you know everything, what I think you you know the, the ones that follow it, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, uh, enough said of all that. I hope I didn't offend anybody by my my profanity. But anyways, have an amazing week, guys. Uh, be watching for some future lives and some premieres on my premieres. I'll try to remember to get into the premiere while I was playing. And if you got any questions or answers for me, I'll be happy to uh, answer them. Again, have a great day. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe when you subscribe. I thrive. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.